guys, welcome back. Let's talk about one of my favorite toy. This portable AC system. This is a lifesaver. What do I mean by a lifesaver? Well, I work in front of the computer, two hot monitors pointing at me. I have a big gigantic computer system that generates lots and lots of heat. Well, I do have a AC system in the house, but I can't control it. There's no way for me to control or redirect the AC towards me, so that's one of the drawbacks. I want to be able to have a nice cool breeze, cool fan blowing right in front of my body and in front of my face. Well, if you were to ask me, turn on the AC colder or faster on your house? Well, this is the problem. If you have others living with you, your significant others, your family member, whomever it is, if they can't stand the temperature range anything below 80 degrees, then you have a problem. With me, 80 degrees is still a little too hot. Look at this. I'm fat. So a fat guy like me needs to have at least 78, 77 degrees of temperature. Now 80 degrees is very cold for them. For me, I need 78, 77, 76 degrees of coldness. And what are my solutions? What can I do? What should I do? Problem solved. In this device, it shows 76.5 degrees and the cooling effect is 65.6 that's about 10 degrees below the original temperature in the room so I don't think it's really 76 degrees <laughs> ambient temperature here in the room because of my monitor because of uh, uh, everything that I have here well out there in the living room it's probably 80 degrees or somewhere around there but I want something colder 65 degrees cool nice air nice breeze coming out and if I'm doing computer work I put this right in front of my computer have the airflow right in front of my face it's a lifesaver now you're gonna ask me another question what about that piece right there this isn't that a portable AC isn't that this piece right here doesn't that work better than this I do agree with you this portable AC do works better than this. this. Now this is called the real AC system. This is a small mini swap cooler system. My only grip and problem with this is that you have to vent hot air out the window. And it's very loud. It's not just loud, it also wastes a lot of electricity. But this little nifty device, wow. What electricity? What electricity? Look, look at this small little wire. This is a portable AC, uh, a C port wire. You can power this little device with a uh, portable battery pack. That's amazing. Now, my problem and issue also is the price of this little device. At Amazon right now, $227. That's a lot. This is about maybe $300. So you have two choices. $200, $227 or $300 something for this. What will you choose? If you want to cool a big room, not just a big room, just a little small computer room, uh, 15 by 18 feet uh, square feet, go with this one. But it's going to be loud. But if you have, a, if you want to have a small personal cooling space, go with this one. This is worth it. I really like it. It's very nifty. But hey, look at how portable this thing is. Very very portable. You can use this outside in your front patio, your house, your uh, backyard, a barbecue. You can power, uh, power it portably. You know, you can take this anywhere with you. All you need is just a little uh, water. You can take this out. Put water in here. It lasts about uh, from highest setting, 100% fan speed. If you, uh, if you fill the water all the way to the top, you know, my estimated time will be like about 3 to 4 hours. So three to four hours of cooling is worth it. So I can afford that. And the cooling effect, very, very nice. Now, when you heard the word swamp cooler, what does that mean? If you don't know what a portable swamp cooler is, it uses a cooling effect through water. This device suck water into a little small paper and the, and the water soak into the paper and a fan blows right in, uh, behind the paper and it uses that cooling swamp feeling effect. So it cools that cool breeze through the paper. Now my experience outside the house with the hot temperature around 100, 112, 120, 150 degrees outside, this is a lifesaver. Now when you hear the word swamp cooler and water and, and paper and all the stuff, you know, in your mind you're, you might be thinking, hey, doesn't it blow water or a sprinkle of water out? No, not necessarily. All this, all this does is just blow nice cool breeze of cool air. 
that's how I can explain it. The maximum temperature that I've seen that it can drop to is 15 degrees. So what that means is if it's 100 degrees in your room, it'll drop it down to 85 degrees. Right now the room temperature range 79, 78, 77, certain places are about 70 degrees. What about me? 82 degrees. Okay, so what about the breeze in here? 63. 61. 62. Wow. So let's what about this? 78. See, so it does, <laughs> it works good. I like it. I think I think it's worth it, but the price is not. Uh, bring it down lower. Bring it down to 120, 130. Then this thing will sell like hotcakes. One forty-three. Wow, every, everywhere is hot. One thirty-nine. Okay, so everywhere is hot. One hundred forty-three degrees in this vehicle. I'm not sweaty yet, but in a few moments I will be sweating. If I put the Evo Polo right next to my face, it does help. I feel the slight tingle, cool breeze coming from it, but out here is very damp and humid. One twelve. One twenty-four. 133, 103, 95. So I would say it cools down the air about 10 to 15 degrees. Now what about the noise? It's subtle, subtle noise. It's not as loud as I expect. It has a cool, nice type of noise. So it's bearable and it's manageable. Right in front of the uh, small little portable system. Wow, it feels very nice, feel cool. From my cooling space, from here would be the coldest. It's cold. Right here, I can, feel, I can still feel the cool breeze. But if I move away from the cool breeze, like around right here, wow, I can feel the heat generating from the room, the lamp, the heat from over here, from the monitor. I can feel it. So I have to go back into that my little small space, this spatial <laughs> area here. Yeah, perfect. So this is a one person swap cooler. It might cool two people if you have a baby or somebody you know, sitting right next to you, but that's, it's, it's gonna take up your personal space. So might as well buy two for your significant others or someone who also needs it. Now the replacement filter costs about at least 40 bucks. I didn't have to change it until a year and the filter looks very dirty and very gunky after a year of use. But the question is, does it still work? Yes, it does. Uh, is it efficient as a brand new filter? Not really. It just deducted by, you know, if, if, if the airflow is 100%, it might deduct it by 30, 40% because of the, um, uh, the calcium buildup on the water. It, it freezes and hardens the, the paper. So certain area uh, is able to collect the water and certain area doesn't. So if you use this every day like me, I would change it every year. Okay, so it, it also has this nifty device right here where you can change the airflow to, for, to your stomach if you if you have a hot stomach, and to your to your face if you have a if you have a hot face. Now you might ask me, does this device leak? And that's a good question. This device I've been using for years, it really leaks. It doesn't leak. I was very surprised that you're moving up and down, left and right. It, I never noticed any type of leak, but if you flip it upside down, of course it's going to leak. But from the side, I never had to worry. So now the surprising thing is that I put this right next to my computer device. A, a lot of electronic components is right there. And my, my keyboard is right here, is right next to each other. So I, I was confident that <laughs> this little device is not going to leak. So I've been using it for a year and no, uh, no leak yet. Now, now this little device is very nifty. You can control this through touch screen here on, on the uh, top monitor uh, from 0 to 100%. So right now it's at 0% and I'm going to jump all the way back down to 100%. So you can see my hair blowing. So it's 30, 40, 50, 80, 100. There you go. See, it, it has a nice cool breeze. You can change the color to diff different setting. So I'm not sure if you can see the color. You can change it to blue, green, red. So this is blue right now. Blue, this is purple. I usually like the cool cool blue look because it reminds me of an ocean like this, cool blue. 
Now, one other neat device that I like with this portable AC system is the you can control it with your mobile phone. It's amazing. Okay, so there you go. You can be able to control your fan speed through your phone, your your temperature, the coloring, and you can turn off the device and you can turn it on, but you have to connect it to the network. What network? Your wireless network system. Now, a lot of people have a problem connecting this device to their own phone or uh, just in general just to connect just to make everything work now this is the problem certain Wi-Fi router system has a 2 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz wireless uh, frequency so in order to make this work you have to reset your wireless router to 2 gigahertz frequency in order to connect it properly to your mobile phone now once you're able to connect to your phone successfully then you can update the firmware to make sure you have all the latest uh, features and device now, if you ever have a problem with your Ava Polar not working properly, it's always a good idea to do a factory reset through your phone. Well, in my personal opinion, connecting this to a phone, I don't see a practical use. If you're, you know, having the uh, the portable AC in front of you and you're using it, you know, why controlling it with your phone? Uh, you know, when you can be able to control it with your fingers. Yeah, I really like this device. I can put this near my bed, just like this, and let let, your, let myself cool. Wow, there's so many ways to use this device. You can use it anywhere. Your office, your workplace, your house, car, airplane, barbecue, a friend's house, someone else's house, neighbor's house, top of the roof, gardening. You can use it anywhere. Amazing. Overall, it has good functionality uh, connected to your phone, but I rarely use it. I use my touch keys is right next to me. I, I don't see a need to use the, the, the function device on the phone. $227. I would recommend you go out and buy the smaller version. There's the Evo Polar 1 and the little EV Chill device. It costs $100. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the next review.